Oh my god, the September Direct is real. Nintendo has just announced it for tomorrow, September 23rd at 3 p.m. Pacific Time, 6 p.m. Eastern, or any number of other times depending where in the world you live, and is focused on 40 minutes of upcoming Nintendo Switch games, primarily this winter. But of course, that's not all. And we're here to give all of our predictions for tomorrow. Uh, we've got the whole crew here, it should be a lot of fun. So let's dive right on in. So let's start off with the games that we know about coming this year so far, and there's a surprising amount given there's only three months left in the year. That includes Metroid Dread on October 8th, Mario Party Superstars on October 29th, SMT5 on November 11th, which is being published by Nintendo in Europe, not quite here, but it's a big game regardless, we're counting it. Uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl on November 19th, which I guess is technically two games if you want to count it that way. Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp on December 3rd, and then Big Brain Academy Brain vs. Brain on December 3rd as well. So that's going to be a busy day. In addition though, we also have the Zelda Game of Watch on November 11th, as well as of course the Smash Brothers final character coming at some point this year, which maybe during this direct, maybe not, who knows. So I guess let's start off with the game games that we know about. What are you kind of expecting to see of these here? If any, you know, Nintendo, you know, sometimes shows games coming up, but sometimes they also ignore them in favor of just focusing on trailers or, you know, letting the rest of the marketing handle it. So yeah, let's cover some general predictions <laughs> right now. I really hope we don't see much of Metroid Dread if yeah, we see yeah. anything at all, because it's like they've, they literally gave us an overview trailer like a week ago, a week and a half ago. And they, I feel like they just come out with trailers like every other week for this game. They even, even the TV spots have new information on the game, like new images, new video, new footage. So I'm kind of just like, show me nothing in this direct. Let the game speak for itself in less than, is it less than three weeks from now? Yeah, M Metroid's something where it, out of context, that's so weird. Like, I, I don't want to hear about Metroid. That's so right. weird out of context. <laughs> but they've been really pushing the marketing on that, that it really doesn't need to be here. And I think the most we really should get of it at all is a, hey, as a reminder, it's it, it's coming out on this day, same day as the OLED, don't forget about it, and then immediately moves on. Yeah, that's yeah. the only way they can do it. In a highlight reel, even. <laughs> I yeah. think I think for Metro Dread we might there's a chance we'll see a, a trailer or a promo or something we've already seen, but they'll put it just in the direct just to kind of reach that larger audience that the direct yeah. that directs have versus like on Twitter for example. Um, but yeah, I hope we don't see much. I think there's also a chance. Well, this will sort of be a separate discussion. If you guys think we'll see the Switch OLED or OLED, whatever exactly you call it, in the direct, some type of trailer for that. And I think if there is some kind of new trailer for that console since it's releasing next month they'll include Metroid Dread kind of as part of that since they're releasing, they're launching on the same day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I want to hope for instead of Metroid entering some sort of death loop of marketing <laughs> and uh, <laughs> continuing to show more and more. It's like Nintendo's pushing it so hard for it to do so well, but they're giving so much away to the, like, the big fans of the series. Like, that's great if it draws in new fans, but uh, it's definitely, like, we know enough already. Just, yeah, show the OLED and Metroid. That, that's all you need. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll definitely get some kind of reminder, I agree. Hopefully they don't show too much, because we've, we've been getting a ton of trailers and yeah. Dread updates, and uh, you know, it's, and it's also a game that they've effectively been teasing for over 10 years, which is <laughs> kind of impressive. <laughs> so yeah, let's just, you know, we're so close to the finish line, let's not show off too much more, but I think we will see it, because it'd be dumb not to show it and get it more marketing, yep. uh, particularly with the OLED tie-in, which, yeah, would be right. weird if they don't mention that as well. But, you know, it's Nintendo, anything's possible. The game I want to see more of, really, is Mario Party Superstars, especially yes. because we haven't seen a ton of it, but at the same time, we kind of have, because it's essentially a remake of the first three games to to some degree. Um, but yeah, this is the one where I think they can show off, I mean, I don't know how much more there even is to show off, but there are a couple boards we don't know about at the least, um, and more mini games as well. So I don't think it needs like a big part of the showcase, but I definitely want to see more of it. And if there's we more features that we don't know about, hey, that'd be exciting. <laughs> Yeah, I think um, if we see it, I, I do think we'll see at least one of those two boards. At least, like, I don't know, maybe like five to six new minigames. We've already seen almost 70 out of the 100 that we know are there. So that's kind of a lot already. So I don't think they want to show all of them beforehand. Um, they did mention on, like, the official websites and everything that all modes include online. So we'll probably get a taste of what other modes there are to offer. Um, regardless of what they are, whether they're, like, remastered old modes or something like River Survival from Super Mario Party. Um, and then we'll hopefully see that Daisy is indeed in the game, because it's still weird that she is nowhere to be seen at all. Oh, she's in the game. Nintendo knows. They're holding on to her. They 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 know I, people go nuts when they see Daisy. So. I don't know, man. Remember, people freaked out because uh, Mario Kart 7, like 10 years ago, didn't have Waluigi. So, you never know. <laughs> 
Maybe Daisy's a character they hang, they hang on to the, for the next Mario Party. And this one like, misses the mark. Like, well, we got our Daisy card left over. We can play that now. Or they're hanging on to her for DLC for this one. Yeah, they, they, actually, that's possible. That'd be fun. the Mario Golf model, basically. Yep. yep. So is it? do we have any specific predictions for Mario Party at all? I think Goku is going to be in the game. <laughs> Should we get out of here? Okay. <laughs> Um, in terms of a specific prediction, I do think we'll see that um, we'll, we'll see we'll see one of the two remaining boards that are a mystery, and I think it's going to be from Mario Party you, Three. Oh, okay. I was gonna, I was wondering, isn't there a mystery board in Mario Party Two? <laughs> there they, is. There yeah, is. Like, mystery is that land. your prediction, Mystery Land? <laughs> I was yeah, thinking we about seen, it, but have we not seen the Mario Party Three board yet? I don't think we have. Um, right? We have not in gameplay. We have Woody Woods in the official artwork, but we haven't seen it in gameplay. So there's two boards we're missing still, right? Yep. Yep. I feel like it'll be a board from two and a board from three, personally. I don't think they'll pull multiples from one. We already have yeah. Peach's birthday cake. Probably and not. one is kind of notorious for uh, having a lot of problems. I don't feel like they're going to pull that much from one. But That's I why I want one, because you can do the hilarious <laughs> things like raising the rent on the thwomp by like 100 coins and making people pay that toll every time they wanted to switch <laughs> islands. It was so good. It was classic. I need that. I need that gameplay there. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's even much more to predict, like, beyond, like, characters and, like, you know, the minigame selection. We could be here all day with that stuff. Yeah. So, uh, let's go ahead and move on, then, to, uh, the next big game on November 11th, uh, being, uh, SMT5. Uh, another game that they've been showing off a fair amount, or maybe not a fair amount, but we got just another trailer for it not too long ago. Um, and that's another game where I feel like they could easily give too much away. Yeah. So, I think it will be there, you know, but maybe, I don't even know if it'll have that big a big segment to itself. It might just be part of, like, a highlights reel or something. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I could definitely see it being part of a highlight reel, but I can also see it getting another trailer, maybe, like, introducing you to some more some more of the, the main cast, for example. Mm, yeah, that's right. And it is coming out on November 12th worldwide. It's November, November 11th in Japan, and I just know someone in the comments is writing that. Just stop. <laughs> <laughs> Stop yeah, I think mm -hmm. I could see this also being featured too in the direct. Yeah, like maybe not a huge amount, but maybe like they cut away from all of, like the headlines and then give us one more big trailer before this game uh, yeah. releases. I feel like any amount of exposure for this game would make sense in this direct. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, <laughs> mm -hmm. absolutely. <yeah. laughs> Um, all right, then we have the, uh, the Zelda Game Watch, as I mentioned. Not, we're not counted as one of the games, but I'm going to mention it now anyway. But that's that's on November 12th. And do you think we'll see that again? They announced it several months ago at this point, like to the point where I nearly forgot it existed. I did. Um, <laughs> do you think, yeah, I, I feel like it has to be here just as a reminder, well, just as a reminder that it exists. But it's also the kind of thing they could just put on Twitter. It's like, hey, it's yeah. out mm -hmm. now, go get yeah, it. Yeah, what know? more could they show off of it, really? I feel like they showed everything. I mean, they could just reshow the same trailer. <laughs> they don't <laughs> right. usually. But, like, they could show off some of the Easter eggs, maybe, which I forget if they even showed off many of them before. Uh, like, on the clock screen, like the Mario one, which had a ton mm -hmm. of stuff going on. I, I, I think they did, because they gave it, like, a little showcase before. So, I don't think we'll see it here at all. They'll just get, like, maybe a Twitter reminder after the right then a reminder. Not only is SNT5 releasing that day, but also this. And just mm -hmm. nice, nice more photos of it. Now, I think the bigger question is, will we see Pokemon, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl here? Because those are things often reserved for, of course, you know, the Pokemon presentations themselves. Yeah. So, what do you think, Tris? You're the Pokemon expert here. <laughs> My gut says no. Um, we yeah. had the Pokemon Presents at, um, about a month ago, like late August. I feel like if we were going to see more of those, they would have just been in this um, in the first place instead of the Pokemon Presents. Uh, so I feel like if there was anything there, it, it would be like a really small mention just because it's coming, but it wouldn't really have anything new. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Um, do you think we'll get another presents before, uh, the game's release? N not these games, I think. I think if we get another one, it would be before Legends releases next year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you think we'll see Legends here? No, I don't. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> To yeah, not that one out of the park. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're getting ahead of ourselves here. Next up, we have uh, Advance Wars 1 Plus, 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp, uh, which is a total surprise when it was announced um, on December 3rd. You know, I'll just loop in Big Brain Academy 2 with the same same day. <laughs> I think I think we'll definitely see Advance Wars here. I'm less certain about B Big Brain Academy, just because that's, that was such a random <laughs> announcement. 
like if they were going to announce it in a direct, they could have just held it for held it off for this one. Yeah. Um, so I think I, I feel like we won't see that, but I think we will see Advance Wars. Yeah. Yeah, we need to see a lot of Advance Wars here. I think like they need like a dedicated set for it because because yeah. I feel like it's getting lost in all the Metroid Dread hype, and once that yeah. hype sort of dies down after its release. It's going to be time to focus on Nintendo's other abandoned IP that's been <laughs> right. abandoned even longer than Metroid. This game is a really big deal to fans, and and they're kind of owed some advertisement for this game in this direct. Definitely. Well, not, just, not just fans, too. It's a great entry point, obviously, being a remake of the first two. Yeah. Um, yeah. For people to get into the series, and they need to explain to those people why it's worth checking out. You know, they need to show off, like, what this game is about, how do you play it. You know, and they can really, I mean, they could really, like, lean into the, uh, you know, the whole tactile side of things and try to appeal to Fire Emblem fans. Obviously, two two very different games, uh, presentationally, you know, presentationally, but in the gameplay sense, they had some similarities, and they could try and bring in some of that market, too, which they mm -hmm. probably should try. You know, it's like, hey, you like Hopefully. Fire Emblem? You want to play <laughs> more tactics-like games? Here you go. <laughs> so, I think yeah. the Advance Force 2, uh, maybe they are holding back some new feature they could show off. And they didn't really show much of why Grit is a complete jerk uh, <laughs> earlier on at E3. They should be showing that and how he has he's a sniper with longer range who gets even longer range with his CO power. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> so are you excited for this game, Tom? Yeah, it's uh, great to see WayForward's art style combined yeah. with Advance Wars. That's I think true. it's a really unique uh, marketing angle, and it's nice to see WayForward working with Nintendo in this way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. And I think, I believe the games are confirmed to have online. I don't think we really saw anything about that in the original reveal, so that might be something they really show off in this case, too. It makes yeah, sense. it could be really fun. Yeah, it makes sense. It's turn-based. It's not like a real-time game, so mm. it's, it'd be I, easy to do in quotes. Like, <laughs> as we know, everything in game development has its own caveats, so... Yep, that makes sense. But uh, yeah, that could be uh, that's a big one to keep an eye out on. So I think yeah. So it sounds like we are predicting we'll see most of the games here. Perhaps not all of them um, yeah. that we know about so far, obviously. But there is one more thing that we haven't touched on yet. Uh, not a game per se, but a component of a game. Of course, being the final Smash Brothers Fighters Pack Two DLC character. Are we going to see it announced in this direct? Because we know it's coming by the end of the year. They've said this. They've said as much before, unless it's you know unless it's been delayed, which they could do but they would they would also announce that here um i would think so do you think we'll see the character here or not i think we're gonna get an announcement for the announcement more than yeah. anything mm -hmm. i yeah. don't I, or unless we don't get anything and they're saving that for game awards <laughs> jeff Keeley fought for that spot but um yeah if anything we're getting an announcement for the announcement we're not gonna actually get the announcement but if we were it would be like the very last thing yeah. Yeah. What I'm thinking. What. Yeah. What I'm thinking is, um, instead of like a proper character reveal, they'll announce uh, a Sakurai presents for I don't know the following for for some time in the near relatively near future, like within two weeks. Um, kind of like they did back uh, with Byleth, uh, where it was Sakurai presents a mystery character. That wasn't announced in a direct. That was just announced on Twitter like two days in advance. But I could see them doing this to really drum up the hype for the final character. Yeah, I think the question in my head is, do they really want to build up the hype like this? Like, I'm imagining some kind of countdown where every day on Twitter they post like 10, 9, oh, 8, no. 7, 6, leading up to it or something. <laughs> or do they just want to announce it like it's a previous character in a direct, just announce it, show the trailer, or announce a Sakurai Presents to sort of like avoid the extra build up and kind of expectation that a, that a countdown like that would come with just because... I mean, right. this is a huge deal. People are bound to be disappointed. I'm not sure yep. which approach they'll take. I think just for the excitement of it, they'll go with the more like, hey, it's coming, kind of build it up, hopefully. Uh, and I think I think it'll either be that, like the announcement of a Sakurai Presents or something's coming, or just nothing at all in this direct, and we still just have to keep <laughs> okay. waiting. It's not usually Nintendo's way to hype up announcements, so mm -hmm. I I don't think they'll do that. And I, I, so I don't think, if we don't see the character here, I don't think they'll announce when we will see it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also don't think we'll see it here. I think it's probably, I think okay. it could be a Game Awards thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, they sure, hyped, they sure hyped up Bakugan. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to that, say that... that yeah, that uh, it's too close to Metroid Dread, so they don't, they don't want to water down the Metroid. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I think it's more... It looks like a gap kind of around December 12th to 15th in that area. I think they'll do that and keep the focus here on all the games coming out that like a bad Smash announcement will 
totally overshadow all of them. So even if it's good, it'll overshadow all of them. So yeah. save it for later. That's a great point. Yeah, that actually is a really good point. That would just dominate the conversation, whether good or bad. And it, that kind of detracts from all the other announcements in any case. Uh, so yeah, I think, I think yeah, I agree with you, Tom. Well said. Uh, but think, we'll see. I think that's that's definitely an interesting take on it because um, we we had, because um, the last character, what, Kazuya, was back around E3. And yeah. uh, all uh, each pack of Smash Bros. so far, we've had uh, at least one character in the fall before Game Awards time, and then another one gets revealed around Game Awards time. Um, <clears throat> last year it was Sephiroth at Game Awards, but before that it was uh, Minecraft Steve. Um, my reason with that yeah. is because you had Breath of the Wild 2 still at the end of that E3 presentation, and there was still one more Smash character. This one, if you don't get your character in, that's it. Yeah. You are <laughs> going to be pissed. Andre is going to be pissed when Gino is not there. So that's all I'm saying. Okay, okay. You're right. Even though I've totally written off Gino as a chance, I'm still going to be upset. This is true. You're 100% right. So, all right. We'll see. I mean, anything's possible. Nintendo could be here. Uh, do we, if anyone, so wait, is anyone predicting it to be here? And if so, who is it going to be? <laughs> I, no? I, I, I think it will be, but it'll be the mystery. Like, like we'll, we'll, we'll they'll announce that, that a Sakurai presents is having, okay. but we won't see who it yeah. is. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. Who are you predicting is going to be then? When they do announce it, Tris? Wait, when? When? Or who would I announce? Or when would yeah, I announce? That's it? a big <laughs> question. <Are> they... <laughs> yes. Who is it going to be? Doesn't I, matter. I, I I don't know directly who, but I know I want I want the two videos I've done. Either the four champions of Hyrule or there Phoenix Wright. There nice. we go. Phoenix Wright would be a pretty big one. I, I mean, that will still make people upset. Some people. <laughs> yeah, that would be a, a surprising one. That's the thing. There's no winning with this announcement. I feel like there's no like. Nah. There's so few like. You know, uh, bullseye characters left that you know they, most of them are already in Smash. So it's yeah, it's going to be it very would, interesting. To it see. would have to be a character so shocking, like Norman Reedus from Death Stranding, oh or something, God. for it to be just a wild announcement at the end. Like, yeah, I don't think there's any winning otherwise. <laughs> no, I don't think so. We'll see though. Maybe maybe they'll pull it off, but. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, before we move into our uh, into our more uh, you know into our new game announcements or whatever other predictions we have uh, for this, there are still three more games I want to bring up. One of which we already kind of did, but I believe we know of of three games coming out next year, being Pokemon Legends Arceus, Splatoon Three, and Mario and Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Do you think we'll see any of these here? And if so, which ones and and how much? I think Mario Rabbids has a good chance, and that's it. Or maybe Pokemon, but. Yeah, I Pokemon being here. And, and, yeah, I, I'm with you there too. So, yeah, I'm thinking Mario Rabbids, and I think they're just gonna not even talk about Splatoon three until maybe even E three next year or the direct before E three next year. So, I'm not sure. See, I'm actually the other way around. I think we won't see Mario and Rabbids, but we will see Splatoon three because Splatoon three was last announced. The last thing we heard anything about it was uh, when it was announced back in February. So I feel like mm -hmm. we'll get something, even if it's just. Uh, the same kind of tease for like what they're doing with the world. Maybe we'll see the 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 actual like new musicians or something or the new pop stars, whatever you want to call them. Mm -hmm. um, but when but do you think it's coming out? Summer. I I, I I can see it coming summer, and that's why I feel like it won't be saved all the way until next E3 because I feel like they'll want to start info dumping so it could be ready to release like around like like late June, early July kind of time. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly when the previous two games have come out, being May and July. Yeah. Um, they could pull, like, an ARMS here, where it comes out basically the same week as E3. I think I agree with you, Tris. I don't think we can see Sparks of Hope. That We saw that too recently, I think. They're going to hold off on, on that until, I think, later next year. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I don't think that game's going to come out before Splatoon 3. So I think if we see any of them here, um, it will be Splatoon 3. And I don't think we'll see Arceus for the same reasons you mentioned earlier, yeah. where that'll be a Pokemon Presents thing. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping we'll see Splatoon 3. I wouldn't bet my life on it, but I definitely think that there's a higher chance of Sparks of Hope. Uh, I agree. S small Spl Splatoon 3 story trailer. Yeah. Uh, maybe a hint at the uh, that DJ Octavio again. <laughs> Fingers <laughs> crossed. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, right. I, I hope we see more of the story mode, but they just barely teased in the last one. It's like, what's, what's going on here? And that's a part of the game that could be the most... I think it has the most room to really like build on what the previous games have done. You know, maybe it doesn't have to be, you know, all these like Mario Galaxy like floating levels, you know? Like it could actually take place in this actual world structure now. So it it will be fun to see if they've actually been able to remix those elements or mix it up rather, uh, given the fact they've had more development time, I think, than mm -hmm. they have for 
most of the others in the series. Way always, more. Yeah. Way yeah. more. Yeah. Like, Splatoon 2 was basically kind of a re... I want to say, like, a remake of one, but it used a lot of elements from one. Splatoon 2 came out four and a half years ago. Yep. I keep. So I thought lot. it wow. came out. I thought it came out like yesterday. Like what? <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought you were gonna say Splatoon two came out four and a half months after Splatoon one. I believe. <laughs> <it all. laughs> See, Joey says with a confidence that you can't deny. It. Well, look, I'm being here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to see what they're doing with that game. So that's going to yeah. be uh, no matter when it is. Uh, but I'm hoping it is here. But I think it would make sense to start to at least give us something more to chew on, mm. even if it is still you know nine months away or whatever. Mm-hmm. But uh, hey, I'll be happy to see either of those games. You know, either that or Sparks of Hope. But um, we'll see. Uh, I don't have much hope for Sparks of Hope. <laughs> uh, it, seeing it specifically, I have much hope for the game itself. All right, anything else about the games we know about uh, coming within the next year or so, or should we move on to our more out-there predictions? Well, there is a game that we know, and we finally saw more of back at E3, but we don't know when it's releasing. Do you guys think we'll see any uh, Breath of the Wild 2 here? No. I don't oh, know. Yeah, how the, how, you, why didn't you mention that when I was talking about the other stuff? Of course. How can I forget about Breath of the Wild 2? <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm, I'm like so disconnected from that game. Because we don't know what's next year. I know, same here. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm just like, there's no way like yeah. we're going to see anything anytime soon. <laughs> I well, because yeah. had, that doesn't even have an official release date yet. Of no, it's just next yeah, year. That's and and right. Anuma said we're aiming for it, and I'm like, mm-hmm. if you're yep. aiming for it, how done are you? <laughs> yeah, that, that's why I don't, I don't, I personally don't think we will. Um, right. But on a related note to it that I have written here that I scrolled down on my notes, forgot to mention it earlier. Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity still has that second DLC set to come in November, but if it's in November, I feel like it's too soon to like info dump it i feel like we just get a tease for what's in it yeah just that's a twitter announcement that's an email yeah. that's a twitter announcement right there <laughs> well yeah, that's they, not. That's they, they announced it the existence of dlc for high wars age climate in february's direct and it was like a 30 second trailer that just had artwork that was it it didn't yeah. have anything new that's why i feel like it'll get name dropped in here with like a date in november but we we will not know anything about it otherwise it might get like a picture or something. Yeah. You know, or yeah. Yeah, like a small tease. Yeah. Chris, I think you had something to say about Breath of the Wild, maybe? Or I was going to say something about the Age of Calamity DLC, which Go is that it. I feel like if yeah. they did anything mysterious or any sort of tease for it, that would be a huge, huge risk because people's hearts would immediately explode thinking it's a Breath of the Wild 2 Breath thing. Wild 2. Mm-hmm. And so they need to, that might they be. They need to open yeah. it with like, this is not Breath of the Wild <laughs> yeah. 2. Yeah. First off, <laughs> this is not Breath of the Wild 2. But here you go. <laughs> You know how and they it shows begin like trailer- the exact same world, and it's like, oh, mm-hmm. page of you know how they begin trailers with the following represents a work in progress. That it would be the following represents something that's not Breath of the Wild. Too. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so great. Yeah, I I also think I also t- don't think we'll see it here, Breath of the Wild yeah. too specifically. I I think we saw. I, I it feels like not that long ago we saw the last trailer. They clearly didn't want to show off too much more of the game at this point, and uh, yeah, I, I don't think we're gonna see it um, here. So. Especially with 2022 in general being a question. Like, is it going to hit? Is it not going to hit? So, um, well, I guess while we're speaking of games that are theoretically next year, there's also, of course, the mystery of Bayonetta 3. (laughs) Which, (laughs) what? (laughs) Where is that game? That's one of my predictions, actually. But go on. (laughs) All right. No, let's have you take it away. Uh, I think it's, uh, if there's anything they could do one more thing of, it's Bayonetta 3. I mean, we've been hearing a lot about it recently. Bill Trennan mentioned it's coming along. The team at Platinum Games said it's coming along. Granted, they've been saying that for a while, but I feel like mm-hmm. we're kind of getting to that point of, like, we're about to see more. How much more would we see at this direct? Probably not a huge amount. Like, some gameplay snippets here and there, or maybe even, like, an in-engine cutscene of Bayonetta, like, kicking some dude in the face or something. But, yeah, I think it's I think it's likely this time we could probably see Bayonetta 3 here. Okay. Man, I'm going to gotcha. counter that, and I'm saying we're reaching a divide in Nintendo Switch history where there's going to be original Switch games and pro Switch games. Oh, no. And I think oh, there's going to be holding no. Bayonetta 3 <laughs> for like a pro regular Switch version, along with potentially things like Breath of the Wild 2 later, because Zelda famously mm-hmm. it kind of spreads two generations of Nintendo hardware. So... I'm guessing we won't get many huge announcements this time because they're going to be saving them for a pro next year. 
Dear God, Tom wow, laying down man. the big predictions here. <laughs> the comments are going to blow up from that. Wow. <laughs> like, as, as they're showing off, as the OLED isn't even out yet. <laughs> Let's go right into, uh, yeah, pro. I'm just pro saying that's what I predict. <laughs> it is. It and, hey, it is. I mean, that would be a year out from this point, uh, assuming it launched late next year, if not early 2023. So yeah. I'd love to be wow. wrong with Ben <laughs> Uh, I, I was going to say, as much as I would love to see Bayonetta 3 here, I mean, Joey, you and I just recently did that discussion as to where is it. Uh, I, I kind of feel like it won't be here, but maybe at the Game Awards, uh, Ke Jeff Keighley will be like, hey, remember that thing that we teased years ago? <laughs> well, <laughs> no. finally, world premiere time. I don't know, something like that. He's going to be like, it is finally time, like he did yeah. with Elden Ring. <laughs> yeah, there you yeah, go. Like, be like, which time is it? Oh, <laughs> perfect. There you go. Wink, oh, wink, like nudge, it. nudge. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I think I think that makes a lot of sense. I don't think we'll quite see it here. Um, yeah. But, you know, who knows? So, you never know. That's the fun thing about Nintendo Directs. You really never speaking know. Speaking of which, speaking of things you never know, let's get into the rest of our predictions for uh, for more off-the-wall ideas, perhaps. Maybe not off-the-wall, I should say. Some of them, I'm sure, will be. <laughs> but, yeah, we're, they, they, get, they get progressively more deranged the deeper into this discussion we go, I'm sure. <laughs> um, so, let's start off with something here. Uh... Let's see, Tom. What, or no, you just made a wild prediction. <laughs> Tris, what do you have? <laughs> I think we'll see whatever updates coming to Nintendo Switch Online. There's yes. been all those rumors that we've been reporting on back and forth. Some GBA or not GBA, uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and some uh, for Nintendo 64. And it seems like there's a good balance of both. And we don't really know what's going on there, but clearly there's something going on with Nintendo Switch Online that. I feel like th it has to be here. If it's not, I'm just convinced there's, nothing, there's never anything happening with it again. I'll go. I'll, I'll go a step farther. I think we are going to see uh, Nintendo 64 games coming to the service. I know Game Boy has okay. been like one of the rumored things. Maybe it's both, but I will at least predict that 64 will be here uh, okay. because, as you were saying too, you know, there has been a lot of smoke surrounding NSO in general, yeah. and it is. It's we just passed its third year anniversary, so a lot. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of renewals coming up, if not you know already. Uh, you know, and it, I think it's just good to show a, you know, a gesture of goodwill. It's like, yeah, hey, you know, thanks for supporting us. Here's, you know, more free content. And I think 64 would be a fun one with it, you know, presumably being online like NES and Super NES. So we're going to oh, play great. Mario Party 2 together. Okay, maybe not Mario. <laughs> Again, that conflicts with Superstar, but any Mario of the 64 Kart games. 64. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, I think, I think we'll absolutely see here. Um, and if not, it'll be like a Twitter drop soon, <laughs> but. <laughs> Possibly. Yeah. Any other thoughts for what could come to NSO? I think it. I, I also think or predict it'll be N N64. I do think there might be fewer games to start. It's not going to start off with however many. How many have has like, it started off with on NES and SNES? It's like twenty? Or is that? Am I way too high? I think it was twenty. It was was it twenty for any? Yeah, maybe both. At least NES. For N64, I just have a hunch that it'll be like five or ten starting out because these <laughs> yeah, are just that's like what I'm thinking. these are yeah, naturally right. bigger games and and you know it's. Um, It'll also make, there's also obviously a lot of great games on N64, like there are, there is every console, but it'll make like trickling them out over time more impactful and exciting. And I just think they're going to hold on to it a lot. It's taken this long and they're still going to hold on to it to some extent, but we'll, we'll get it for sure. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Maybe like six games yeah. and a more consistent trickle schedule. I think the uh, N64 and Game Boy, I could see that being like the main uh, star, like surprise announcement of the Direct. Uh, this That's time true. around is with talk about things like Nintendo, you know, having more problems, not problems, but like I believe Jeff Grubb said, like it was tougher to do Q&A during the pandemic and yeah. just making sure their games reach that level of quality. I think something like uh, the N64 and Switch Online would be a really good thing to focus on this year. Mm -hmm. And I think we will get, uh, we will see that that mystery controller that was teased not, not oh, teased yeah. but like revealed via the FCC um, via the documents uh, that we know something's coming a lot of people are assuming it's an NSO controller we know at least it's for Switch and it would make sense for, to be, for that to be a 64 accessory um, if the Game Boy rumors end up being true it, it's difficult to see how the controller would relate to that which is why I think at least we're getting 64 plus Possibly a Game Boy as well. If they do both, that'd be one hell of a, I think that'd be one hell of a, an upgrade for NSO. Especially oh, yeah. if they don't, especially if there's no price hike to accompany it, which I think there possibly could be. But I mean, actually, I think I take that back. Probably not, given the fact that people are renewing and they would raise the price already if that were the case. <laughs> so catch catch all those renewals. Uh, I don't um, know. Inflation's been like a Mario Party mini game lately. So <laughs> that's why I was thinking it might raise the, high, the raise the price. Even like 
you know, most of the other stream streaming services have done that, so... But the Nintendo's models is, is a little bit different. All right, Joey, what's your next prediction? Or your first whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, yeah, this conveniently actually comes from, uh, from, a, from a news article from Nintendo Everything that just came out, like, right before we recorded this discussion. So I'm going to make another prediction based on it. Um, the Brazil Advisory Rating Board has listed a game for Nintendo Switch called Alan Wake Remastered. So <laughs> even though the game was just announced recently, but sometimes yeah. Nintendo does this weird thing where it's like, if you're going to announce your game for Switch, we need to make it through a Nintendo Direct. So that could be a reasonable thing to come out on this. Uh, it would maybe be a highlight reel too. Like it could be something really small, like, oh, by the way, Alan Wake Remastered is coming to Switch. So I think that'd be really cool. But I do think it's not going to come out day and date with the other platforms. It'd probably come out later, so we'd probably get a release date of TBA or 2022. Hmm. Okay. Um, so you think it's going to be an actual game and not a cloud game? I think it's good. I hope it's a real game. Oh my gosh, <laughs> if it's a cloud game, I'm going to be so mad. Like, the original <laughs> game was on 360, guys. Come on. I know, <laughs> but it's remastered. And barely. <laughs> they just replaced... The most the, the most noticeable thing is they replaced Alan's character model. That's it. <laughs> Chris, what do you have for hey, us? Hey, okay. I'm going to go ahead and jump into one that I was considering saving for the end, but I'm just going to do it. Um, oh, my God. And that is, I want to see some Mario here. Because Partic- there's not enough Mario on Switch. Mm. And I was thinking, uh, yes. now might be the time for Super Mario Galaxy 2. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, like, as part of, like, how would that work? Okay, Explain. here's what I'm thinking. Super Mario Galaxy 2. So, here's what's happened. Nintendo has already set the precedent with 3D All-Stars that they value their previous 3D Mario games at less than $60. Um, I honestly value them at 60 bucks, they're great. But they've set that precedent that it's about like 20. Um, And Galaxy 2 is like pretty similar to Galaxy. So I'm thinking what they'll do with that is it'll be Super Mario Galaxy 2 plus something else, akin to 3D World and Bowser's Fury. Uh, I think that for a few reasons. One, because Bowser's Fury was huge, it was a smash hit, and it proved that the kind of two games in one model for 3D Mario would work. Um, and and another reason, Super Mario 3D World is a pretty recent game that probably they could have still sold for sixty dollars, uh, but they still packaged it with something else to help justify the price. And I think with Galaxy 2, it could either be a new Bowser's Fury type thing, where maybe it's like Bowser's Fury except in the Galaxy setting, or it'll be Super Mario Galaxy 2 plus Super Mario 3D Land, which is something I've oh. never really considered being on Switch. 3D Land, I've I've seen people suggest it, and I've always just kind of been like. I don't know, it's like 3D World, but like not as exciting, I guess. Even <laughs> yeah. though I loved 3D Land, but I think this could be a good chance for them to do it. Um, tying it in with, with Galaxy 2. I also think they're pretty similar games, to be honest, in a lot of ways. Um, they both sort of reflect a particular era in terms of like the evolution of 3D Mario. Uh, and they release like one year apart from each other. So, I'm predicting Super Mario Galaxy 2 plus Super Mario 3D Land. Uh, for a, maybe a February release, because that was 3D World and Bowser's Fury last year, this year. It's okay. a bold prediction, my friend. I like it. And, uh, I, like it. I love it, yeah. yeah. Uh, that would be interesting. They held off Galaxy 2 to make it like a little bit more special, you know? And Galaxy 2 is uh, arguably the best Mario game, in my opinion. Best 3D Mario game. Uh, so, hey, I'm down for that, especially if they loop in another, you know game with it i suspect if they were to release it it would probably be just by itself but yeah. i would love to be wrong and for i mean I'm, i don't know if they'll release it by itself either but if they do i think i, I love your your method so uh, uh real quick mm-hmm. is it time limited god i hope not <laughs> i hope not though that would be a little strange if, since galaxy one is technically even though you can still like go buy it at any target but um, for some reason <laughs> yeah it's like i Still see it at all the stores, 3D All Stars, but I don't think it would be. I think this would be like 3D World and Bowser's Fury. Yeah, the thing with Galaxy 2 is you really could just like with the HD with the HD upgrade and mm-hmm. adding a second game, you could sell that at full price, as you were basically saying. Yeah, like sixty dollars, bam! It will look amazing even these days with modest improvements. Um, so hey, I'm down. That's what they. That's, if that's what it takes to get on Switch. That's hey, I'll buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'm, I'm there. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to move on to a little bit of a more modest uh, prediction for myself, but I think we're finally going to see a big Animal Crossing update. It's been 
a year and a half since it came out. We are way overdue for something big to come to this game. It, it, like, it needs it. The game freaking needs it. <laughs> it's, been, it's been, we can't deal with these tiny, small, like, you know, Twitter updates. We need something big to show, like, you know, whether there's a timeline that was coming up or, you know, big features on the way. So I think we're going to get that. It'll be a massive update. We're going to get Brewster as part of it, finally. Okay. Um, and, uh... And of course, you know other exciting features. I don't know what exactly those could be, uh, but we're going to see a big thing here. So I hope so. You say that's modest, but at this point, it feels like <laughs> asking for too much. <laughs> yeah, it's all, it is right. It's almost like we need like New Horizons 2.0 at this yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm exactly. thinking like I would Brewster or something like that would be cool. Something to get me to come back to my island. But even then, I don't feel like I would stay very long. And so almost like if there's some whole new thing you can do, like not starting a whole new island. But just a new thing to get to really get people back into it would be great. Because you know, I don't know. A new island could be interesting. Like you are on an island. Why not? It's like, hey, we found another island nearby. You can take a boat over <laughs> sure. to it. And... Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. People actually might really like that. If you it, it essentially would be an expansion on the island, you can add even more villagers. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would be pretty big, actually. <laughs> Yeah, I'm almost picturing something maybe like the GBA island on the GameCube, where like there's a, this little play place, like a bonus play place. You can yeah. kind of do whatever you want there. You know, it's a, it's separated from your main island, so it gives you a little bit more room to experiment without screwing up your your mainland. Um, so mm. yeah, and I want Brewster. I just really uh, want Brewster. We all want Brewster, man. I feel like getting <laughs> coffee right now. I miss him so much. <laughs> Tom. What's your next, uh, what's your prediction? It's like, it's tough. You look at different things that came out, like so many small games have come out recently. Probably no more big games for the next year. Earlier this year, there was rumors of Donkey Kong and stuff. I think that it's going to take longer till next year. Mm -hmm. uh, I will predict that a, um, a classic game, you know, we <laughs> just said Eastward in that GBA style. A classic game that everybody wants, everyone pins their hopes on, will come out. And that is a remaster of Rhythm Heaven 1, baby. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's a small game that, you know, do, deserves some time to shine. It'll be an easier way for Nintendo to have Rhythm Heaven back out in collective mainstream than making a new one. That I love that. That's actually a great idea. <laughs> that's a um, that was a great build up for one. Yeah, that was, that was, that was a build up. Maybe that's why I just I just bought into the build up. I was like, oh, what's it gonna be? It's Mother Three, right? <laughs> um, no, that'd be amazing. Uh, and I think that's a great game too. Like that game really could use a just a re-release on consoles. One, it's never been that version's never been on consoles, and it would get you know if they still have the original assets, they could you know definitely improve those, especially with the sound quality. Uh, count me in. That'd be great. And it was only in Japan. <laughs> the first one too so. oh yes good point uh -huh. even better yeah forgot about that that would be good then yeah um okay who wants to go next with another prediction or, i do I guess. all I right do go ahead Joey. this one's kind of modest um now that metroid's coming out i don't really have any much wild predictions but i might actually get really sad if this doesn't show up at this direct um i it's time for the batman arkham games to come to switch oh it's, no it's up I just bought them on PS4 last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I actually bought them recently on PS4, too, just because I felt like having them on PS4. But I'm like, every time I go to bed, I'm just like, I want to keep playing the games. <laughs> like, just put them on Switch. Um, my dream is that they put all four games on there. Like, Arkham Asylum, City, Origins, and Night. Um, my The semi-realistic dream would be they don't bother porting Night over and they just give us... Um, Asylum, City, and Origins. But even more realistically, it's probably just going to be the first two games, which is fine because <laughs> they're like the best ones and they're so yeah. freaking good. And, yep. and there's precedent for it now because next year we got we got two new Batman games coming out or Batman-centric games, DC. We got Gotham Knights and then the Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. We also got a new Batman movie coming out next year. Woo! And also, you could just... I've. In the past, like, things I've wanted have just been randomly ported to Switch. Like, I remember <laughs> in 2019, I really wanted to play Black Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag on Switch. I was sad it wasn't on there. And I kid you not, like, weeks later, it was announced for Switch. <laughs> there was no reason for the it to profit. come to Switch. It came to Switch. So now I'm like, I hope the same thing happens with the Arkham games. Seriously. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I would love that. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. That'd even be great. you just bought them? <laughs> Leading, yeah, even though I just... That's true. That's totally... <laughs> opposite of what I just said, but I don't care. Any, I would oh, love, man. I would love that. 
I mean, we got Arkham City and Origins on Wii U. The Wii U has more Batman games on Switch. What's going on with that? Yep. <laughs> and wasn't there... There was a collection of the first two games, right? Was it the re returning to Return to Arkham? Yeah, but they didn't come to Wii U. They, right. they only came to PS4 and Xbox. But, like, at the bare yeah. minimum, if they could put that on Switch, sure. Great. Yes, please. Um, so, God, do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Now, now that has me wondering, can we see another... Another uh, set of games we released or uh, announced, officially announced here, being the GTA trilogy oh, that was rumored recently. That's right. right. Um, yeah, forgot about that. Do you think we could see that official announcement in a direct? I'm thinking not I, because that's more multi-platform, and I don't know if it would. They, if it's a well, first initial release, it's happened or before. Dark Souls Remastered was multi-platform, and they announced it through a Nintendo Direct, that's and true. then the Switch version got delayed. <laughs> yeah. The irony of that. Yeah. 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 I don't. I don't think it's really an issue if it's multi-platform. Um, I'm pretty sure wasn't wasn't the upcoming Super Monkey Ball in the Nintendo Direct at E3. Like, it was. And that's, and that's Same with Fatal Frame. So. Fatal Frame. Yeah, as Fatal Frame well. as well. Yep. But the difference. True. But Monkey Ball had like that Nintendo heritage. Like it. It true. started off as a true. Nintendo game, basically. Mm -hmm. Had multiple. It, it pretty much dominated. Like, it was mostly on Nintendo hardware throughout its history. But yeah. I mean. Yeah. I mean, there's still right. the case they're... for there's still the case for Dark Souls, which has never been on Nintendo platform until yeah, now. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it could be either or. Yeah, it could be. All right, I've got another prediction here. I'm predicting. Mm. So I'll make two predictions in one. Um, I don't think we're going to see any more first party, any more big first party announcements for this year. I don't think that's especially surprising. Oh, for this year. Okay. It does mean that we oddly don't really have a big first party Nintendo title for November, unless you count, you know, SMT five. Uh, which is very unusual for Nintendo, but they also have like several other games coming out like right around November, you know, on either end. Um, and I think that kind of like makes up for this year. And there's also Pokemon too, of course, mm -hmm. um, which you know is in that weird quasi Nintendo uh, realm. Um, anyway, so predicting no major games this year, but I think uh, there is a chance we'll see uh, announcements of games coming next year. I think there's actually a yes. really good chance. And we usually get those am, in September, yeah. Exactly. And I am predicting we're we're going to see that I mean I predict I predict we're going to see that that Kirby game they've been teasing now like the new twist on Kirby and it's going to be like a 3D too. Kirby game we're finally going to see a 3D Kirby it's going to be here in this Nintendo Direct and it's going to be amazing um, yeah that's what that's all I've got it's going to be Kirby in the Amazing Mirror no I'm kidding <laughs> um, I I actually have like literally the same thing written down Kirby going 3D finally seeing it um, yeah. but I also have written down, I think it'll come in March. I think we'll actually, they'll, they'll fully yeah. announce it. it's coming out in March. Yeah, Kirby games, to my memory, which could be totally off base, tend to trend in the first half of the year. Yep. So that makes complete sense for them to announce it now. I just want to throw it out there. I played an amazing 3D Kirby game someone made in Game Builder Garage. It was fantastic. I loved it. <laughs> so if some if some random person can make this great 3D Kirby by themselves, imagine what Nintendo can do with an actual budget. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna piggyback off the Kirby thing to, to write this out for a minute because um, there's been like, an announcement at minimum of Kirby every single year. And the last thing we had was Kirby Fighters 2 last September 2020. And that was that one that just kind of randomly <laughs> shadow dropped on the eShop, yeah. um, which was fantastic. But we haven't had anything this year. So I don't think we'll get a Kirby releasing this year like an eShop title, but I do think we'll get it announced at this Direct for releasing next year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And March makes fiscal sense as well. So yep, yeah, it does. All right. Next up, who's got another uh, prediction for us? I have a modest one. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, I think we'll get another big update announced for Mario Golf Super Rush. It, yeah. it clearly hasn't been getting... It hasn't quite been getting the same kind of content updates like Mario Tennis Aces did. Um, it's still getting something every month for the most part. Like we had Toadette and New Donk City back in... Um, I think it was the start of August, actually. Um, and then they didn't really have anything for this month outside of the, rank, the, the ranked reward became a uh, boo and a hat. I think for October, they'll announce we'll get another character and another map. So it won't be as regular as Tennis Aces, but we'll, we should be getting another one soon, I think. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to go a step farther. I am predicting we will specifically get a course based around the Mario Kart 8 racetrack. Ooh. Where you have, we have to dodge race cars like in real oh. time, race carts <laughs> in real time. Yep. I love that. As you're putting away to the hole, and you know, if there's any number of tracks that will be a good fit for this. Uh, they, they are, I think it'd be really fun. It, they, there's already some precedent with them basically reusing New Donk City, 
Uh, so why not just look at other Mario games that they could easily reuse or repurpose? Is this yeah. your campaign for Moo Moo Meadows to get into some, this game as well? <laughs> oh my god, I didn't think about that. Moo Moo Meadows, oh god, it's so good. <laughs> like you have carts, you got the cows to dodge to watch out for. Oh man, you've got the 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 carts flying through the air, so to be careful they don't, they don't hit your ball while flying around. Oh Ooh. man, it'd be, it'd be it'd be wonderful. It'd be just be it'd be perfect. Just just imagine you're about to line up a shot and a cow herd just starts. <laughs> like you have rain. to wait. <laughs> I hope that they like eat your ball and just like go drop it off like a mile away somewhere <laughs> to go chase down the cow. Oh, I love it. That oh, that'd happen, be great. So that'd yeah. be great. Oh, that's better than oh. mine. I was thinking a Lake Lapcat course would be cool. Obviously, Bowser's Fury has been on my mind lately. Yeah, but that could <laughs> also be thing. that could also be cool if they incorporate Fury Bowser in some way where he's you know mm -hmm. causing destruction. Oh, causing destruction. That'd be fun. Yep. That'd be cool. Well, he has the final. Idea. He has the final Smash character. We should know. <laughs> Whoa, that'd be incredible. <laughs> I take it. <laughs> that would actually exceed my expectations. <laughs> All right. Uh, who's up next? One of the prediction here. Feed I'm, me predictions. I'm already predicted out. I just want oh, Batman right. on my Switch. <laughs> I just gave one so someone else can go. <laughs> All right. I'll, uh, I'll share one real quick. It's carried over from my E3 predictions uh, to my September Direct hopes. Although I still sort of predicted, but it's more of a hope, and that is Tomodachi Life on Switch. I think it yes. was a bit early to predict it before. Yes, it was right after Mitomo. That would have been incredible had they announced it right then and there. I don't know how they would have done that. This, it's been a little more time, and I don't think it'll just be a port of the 3DS game. I think there'll be more to it. Like, imagine an open world you can actually walk around and explore as opposed to just a menu Ooh. overview of the map where you can just tap on the apartment building and the circus or whatever it mm -hmm. is. Um, can you still do karaoke with dirty words? And you still do <laughs> karaoke. Yes, you can still have the Mies say whatever you want. <laughs> and in this day and age of sharing funny things online, I think it could just take the world by storm. Instant uploading to TikTok, of course. Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> now that we have the more more characters in your tweets, it's perfect. It's perfect. Yes. <laughs> it's true. There we go. All right. I like it. I love that oh. idea. I think that'd be great. <laughs> it still might be a little too soon after Metopia, but I could see that being something that, if, if it happens, it could definitely be announced like, here or in a February direct, I I, I can see one or the other. Yeah, I hope. Okay, I've got another prediction here, and okay. uh, my my background kind of gave it away. Even though I predicted no no new games uh, this year, I think we will effectively get the announcement of a game here, being a DLC expansion for Ring Fit for Ring Fit Adventure. Um, I think it's been two years now, almost two years since its release date. I'm sure that's plenty of time, especially with the pandemic, for people to like actually finish that game. It's probably starting to feel a little <laughs> bit repetitive. They need something more, and I think this is where they can really build on it. I don't think it makes sense to release this sequel to, to a sequel in stores because of the hardware connection. So I think it makes sense to release it as a paid-for expansion to the existing Ring Fit, um, where it's effectively a sequel, but you know it ties into the existing game, and it will be a whole new adventure, you know, featuring new new exercise forms, a new you know new characters, new creatures. Um, and I'm hoping a co-op component, uh, like whether it's you know whether it's you know direct multiplayer or at least you know some kind of leaderboard thing, just something some social element to help like even keep you more motivated and encourage you to get through this. So you know maybe if you have a teammate, you can beat a boss quicker or easier or something. You know things of that nature, right? Um, so yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm predicting. I think it's time. I'm, I immediately, when you said in the multiplayer, I immediately got afraid at the idea of uh, the ring con making you race each other. <laughs> yes. Like sprinting through levels. That sounds terrifying, but I could see that happening. <laughs> You'll be like hitting each other's elbows if you're in the same room. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, mo a multiplayer component to Ring Fit would be awesome. That's something I wanted from, mm -hmm. from, from day one. I remember, I don't exactly remember what happened, but I think a like a friend of mine got ring fit for themselves and like brought it over and was like let's play together and i'm like we can't do that <laughs> we can't, there's no two player but no. but that would be great and then that sort of planted the great. idea so whether it's with with two ring cons it probably have to be that way unless maybe one person's using the ring con and the other's doing push-ups maybe the other one has the thing around their their leg and they're doing exercises that use that um it could be that yeah it could be on uh could be an online thing as well where you've got to have your yeah. own ring fit so yeah yeah that we have to worry about the space requirements too, which yeah. <laughs> it's already tough enough in some places with right. one person. Adding two is going to be a little tricky. So, uh, all right. Well, unless someone else has another prediction, I'm going to leap into my next one. All right. Uh, I. I <laughs> oh, go I, ahead. Hey, he was, uh, I, Andre was so I, I, eager I, I, over I, here. 
<laughs> I was gonna say you didn't give any breathing room there. Um, I do well, think you, you, it seems like it's not like you were all out of predictions. So no, well, I, no. <laughs> yeah. I do have um, one that's less less modest now, more much more of a <laughs> hope because uh, it, 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 we're, we're at that time. Um, being at the second anniversary now of Mario Kart Tour just makes me want to see a new Mario Kart, oh. finally. I know Chris and I were actively talking about this when we met up. We we feel like it doesn't need to be an E3 announcement. It would absolutely dominate E3 if it was, but it doesn't need to be an E3 announcement. We could see that at any point. Um, there's been there's been rumors of a Mario Kart in the works since, like, arms ended like years ago and it's been quite enough time since that finished up and that was the same team so i'm really hoping if there is one it's it's coming soon and i would love to see it here to like uh, some release date next year but then maybe maybe that'll be something that gets announced but we won't get more until like e3 kind of thing just just the one more thing announcement i hope so it's, <laughs> it's hard it i don't know it's it's I, I'm not feeling it, but I don't know, I know. if I would ever feel it. Like we've had, so, it's so weird. But we've had so much Mario Kart between Mario Kart Live, Mario Kart Constant Tour updates, and <laughs> it's just like it feels like we've had too much Mario Kart without any of it being of, of substance. You know, um, I would love to see it here. I don't think I don't think we will though. I don't yeah. Know. Like yeah. I said, it's a, it's a big hope. Yeah. <laughs> Can you too. imagine a man? It's crazy how like a Mario Kart announcement at this point would be mind blowing. But like previous games, it's like, oh, yep, Mario Kart as expected. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I would love. I mean, I would love to see a new Mario Kart. I do think it's in the works. I think it is happening. It's definitely in the works. Going yeah. to happen. Yeah. The question is, it, it will it be announced here? I think. I think it could. Tris, the thank you for bringing it up because I <laughs> might not have. I might have been too scared to. But we could we could have a whole separate gotcha. discussion. We could have a whole separate discussion about what we think a Mario Kart Nine or New Mario Kart could be. We sort of already did for the Christmas we did, we show. Did, yeah. Not meaning to plug that, but um, I do think if we saw it here, it would. Um, I think this new Mario Kart would surprise us with with a lot of new stuff that we haven't seen in Mario Kart before, or new modes that are returning from previous games, like Mission Mode from DS. That would be wonderful. <laughs> sort of a campaign there. But I think Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is sort of the the definition of like what a great Mario Kart game could be. It's hard to imagine how it could be any better. So I think with this new one, hopefully they'll try something new. Um, maybe even with a new kind of art style to give it a different stylistic Ooh. look. I'm thinking sort of like Smash Wii U to Smash Ultimate, where they do kind of look pretty similar, okay. but there's a certain artistic flair in Ultimate that the Wii U one doesn't have. Could be yeah. something cool there, since now they've kind of reached like the, the I don't know, the greatest Mario Kart or like the most definitive Mario Kart experience you can have, I'd love to see them play around with it more now. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. they've possibly Added already been mode. testing the waters with <laughs> iOS, with um, Mario Kart Tour and um, the Home Circuit one. You know, they've sort of been yeah. testing the waters with experimenting with the Mario Kart brand, and I love that. I'd love to see that level of creativity applied to a whole new game. That would be great, honestly. Yep, we'll have to have uh, we'll have many more videos, I'm sure, and discussions about it. Assuming it's yeah, not yeah, yeah. announced. Well, in either case, if it's announced or not, <laughs> we'll be discussing a lot of Mario Kart Nine in the future, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, that'd be that'd be cool if it's announced. I don't think it will be, but I'd love to be wrong. <laughs> um, all right, I've got. I think maybe not more modest, but I think it's actually kind of a big prediction. But it's one that not a lot of people are going to care about. Okay. <laughs> but I care about it. I think we're going to get a a an up an update notice for Game Builder Garage. And they're finally Ooh. going to add a built-in way of accessing these games that people upload to the service. No more codes oh. or no more needed codes. I think they're going to build their own store. I think Nintendo just wanted to see what the hell happened to this game. Like, they have access to all the games, obviously. It's on their servers. They can tell what's going on. And now mm. that they've seen, hopefully, you know, not everyone is making a stage of the dick in it, <laughs> that, <laughs> or a game, uh, they'll they'll finally open up a store, like, or not a store. Uh, that'd be incredible. But, like, a service for people to access these games for free. And you can just browse them from your, you know, from your Switch much easier than you can now. They're going to increase the... Uh, the amount of games you have downloaded at once from, I think it's 64 now to hopefully more. And they might tweak a few other things about the game, like giving us more a higher node count, maybe a few more objects to play around with. So I think we, I think Game Builder Garage will get a uh, 2.0 or whatever, you know, effectively a 2.0 update that yeah. uh, makes it, that really kind of gives it, it gives it like a new, a, a new lease on life. Like it came out, I think it, it made a, Pretty big, small splash, <laughs> a medium-sized splash, and I think a lot of people have forgotten about it. But this could be a great way of like bringing people back in and reinvigorating it as we enter the holiday season. 
I think that would be fantastic, honestly. I, I haven't gotten into it myself, but I've, I've been loving seeing all the different creations to come out of it, and the creative energy that people have just tossed into it. And not even just at recreating existing games, but giving their own spin on them, or completely making their own things out of it. I think it's, it's really fascinating, and breathing new life into that uh, before the end of the year, I think was a really good idea. Mm -hmm. um, one feature I'd love to see in it is support for Miis. Like Ooh, you see, yes. what people oh, are Utopia, all yeah. that great stuff. Left. I don't know even if you did a cross compatibility with that, even though you have to buy another game or just uh, better, just me customization report rather than that game builder garage character. I'd love to see that. Yeah. Now I would love to see if Nintendo like refined it even farther based on the feedback they've gotten. You know, on its oh, existing nice. form. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Um, you know, whether it's yeah, adding a few more lessons or just making you know streamlining a few things. Um, but yeah, I think Game Builder Garage has a lot of potential, and I hope it wasn't just a completely one and done type thing. So, yeah. all right, any other predictions? I or have hopes? a question. <laughs> okay. So, I don't follow the series too much, but with that Monolith uh, website update that happened recently, do you guys think something like Xenoblade Chronicles Three will be shown here, or is that something way, way off in the future? I think it sounds like they've been working on the next xenoblade title since two finished because i think there was a separate team that did definitive edition uh last year so there's been quite some time and we know there's something in the works there so i think it might be time to actually get a look at it um i think yeah xenoblade chronicles definitive edition was announced in the september 2019 direct so there's precedence for a xenoblade game to be revealed in these ones so we could absolutely see it and even if it's just a tease and we don't have too much to go off of that alone could still be pretty interesting for a whole new world so yeah i i hope <laughs> i think that'd be great that'd be that'd be that'd be something I, I haven't played much of the series but i don't know it feels a little i wonder if it's a little too soon for a third to be announced at this point um, mm -hmm. it might be because we need Zoom what? chronicles x on switch <laughs> 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 what isn't too soon is my next hope uh, being a new Donkey Kong game, we've had we've had those rumors from a while ago now. I don't know if now is the right time for it to be announced. That's why it's a hope and not a prediction. Yeah. Um, I predicted it earlier this year, and I, I feel like it would be announced earlier. I mean, I had predicted it would be a November release. I don't think that that's happening now. And at this point, since they have often been November releases, not always, um, I think it's something that will be announced next year, if, assuming it actually exists, which I believe it does. Um, mm -hmm. Especially given Nintendo's, like, kind of somewhat newfound focus on Donkey Kong with the Tropical Freeze re-release and they having a whole section in Super Nintendo World coming at least in Japan. Um, so yeah, I think there's a new decay in the works and uh, I hope it is announced here. Probably won't be, but I would love that. So okay. That'd be yeah, something if they had a DK Direct when the uh, ride opened. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Good timing. Yeah, time it, it would time well together. So. Now, you now can... would a DK Direct be Miyamoto walking around the park again? Eating a banana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, qu question, Andre: Two D or three D? Oh, God, I <laughs> I don't know. I I kind of want it to be three D, just to see them try it again. Like I want to see Don I want to see a good Donkey Kong game in three D, especially if it is actually Tokyo EAD. That's their specialty. Like they are great at making three D games, and I think I and I felt like. I said this before with New Donk City, especially when you're wearing the Diddy costume, I felt like it almost offered an idea of how a Donkey Kong game could work, like a lot of verticality, and it could be really fun. And I would love to see their take on it, especially because I don't even know how you top Tropical Freeze, so why even yeah. try? Let's go 3D now, and we know it can be done better than it's been done before, so let's make that happen. And uh, I think that'd be really great. And I think it would effectively be, you know, it would fill in, you know, I think that might explain why we got Bowser's Fury as, like, the latest 3D Mario rather than a giant adventure but it could be that mm -hmm. they're yeah. just busy working on 3D Donkey Kong instead that's true. and I would love that so but I'll take it in any form if it's 2D that's fine too <laughs> um, but I prefer it to be 3D just to try it out so uh, I would love a fake out with like yet another Metroid Dread trailer but like how uh you know, DK found Samus's ship. I uh, have it so Samus <laughs> finds a DK barrel and then <laughs> segment through that day. That would be amazing. <laughs> That'd be so great. That would be great. That would be great. All right. Any other predictions? Um, I have an honorable mention in here that I just want to make sure it gets said because uh, I've seen a bunch of people talk about it lately. Um, I don't think we'll see Ace Attorney 7 get announced here, even though it has history on Nintendo and that would be a good time to. I think it'll actually be a Tokyo Game Show instead. 
uh, unless it's paired with the announcement of Phoenix Wright coming to Smash Brothers. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, if it if it is paired with that, that's that, that's how it would happen. That's how it would happen. Just like uh, uh, just like when Isabel was announced for Smash, and they also announced Animal um, Crossing New Horizons. Then, <laughs> exactly. um, I, I I would love that. Um, I do think we will see Ace Twenty Seven soon, but unless Phoenix is in Smash, I don't actually think it'll be in direct, despite the history of it usually being announced with Nintendo stuff. I think it'll be at Tokyo Game Show since Capcom has their own show there. So that's possible. And same with like Project Triangle Strategy if that's shown again. But uh, oh, I forgot about I forgot about that game completely. I was just imagining like it's going to look like a trailer for Ace Attorney Seven and Phoenix like goes to pick up the evidence is like tap tap and he sees it's an envelope and like eyes light up like <laughs> perfect. I love it. Now. Yep, <laughs> All right, I'm out of predictions myself as well, but I do have a question for all of you. Okay. Will we see Pikmin 4? Oh, no. No. Nope. We need to see the mobile game first. We yeah. do. The mobile. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you just blew Chris's I forgot mind. about that. <laughs> it's been a long year, everyone. Yep. I know. Do you think, but will we see the mobile game during a direct, you think? No. They no. usually don't, I don't think, yeah. That's, a, that's an email. <laughs> <laughs> the the only time we've ever had something like that was the Mario anniversary direct having Mario Kart Tour in it, and that oh, was because yeah. it wasn't it wasn't a normal Nintendo direct. It was Mario everything. They had a whole section for merch. So you know, strangely enough, the mobile game actually does give me more hope for Pikmin Four now. I think it actually, I think that if anything better's its odds, I think that is it. You know, why invest into this IP unless they just want to see how it does before committing to Pikmin Four. But I feel like after Deluxe came out, you know, on Pikmin 3 Deluxe, I feel like they have to be at least exploring it. I mean, well, again, <laughs> um, obviously they were exploring it at some point. I hope it's real. I hope it comes. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be here, but I hope it is. Well, any final thoughts, everyone? Any any final predictions or just general hype levels for this upcoming Direct? What? How are you feeling in general about this thing? The hype level is about a 7. Just because I already have what I want coming in October 8th. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm... Is Metro Prime 4 also releasing that day, Joey? Mm, <laughs> shut up, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, actually, we didn't even touch on that. None of us even predicted anything oh, about Metro no, Prime 4. Oh, no, nothing. <laughs> no. Just, yeah, don't even bring it yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would actually conflict with the dread marketing if they did yeah. that. So, yeah, yeah, seriously. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe if the direct happened after Metroid Dread. Maybe. Yeah. But even then. After, but... <laughs> even then, that eats into sales. All right. High, high level for me. I'm about like 7.5 to 8. Um, it's just it, it's just that feeling of it, 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 it's time. I'm excited to see what, what, what we might get. But my main thing that I'm looking forward to this year, right after Metroid, is Mario Party. So I'm set. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with me, like the... E3 Direct was so good. I think I need a little bit of a downhill to build up steam again on this roller coaster. <laughs> and uh, it's exciting. I think N64 will be there. That's exciting. So, but still, I think a seven. There's probably not going to be Diddy Kong racing on it. Is my <laughs> <guess>. <laughs> I wish. Yeah, I'd say I, I'd say seven. Just because, yeah, we we some directs were we in some directs we don't know anything that's coming and so there's sort of this mentality of like all right nintendo finally time to show us what you've been working on uh that's definitely not the case here we know about plenty of games coming at least this year but that said i, I do think there are still room for some surprises and so it has me excited but uh at a pretty moderate level like i'm, I'm just looking forward to whatever we see but there's lots of great stuff in store no matter what yeah, okay. I'll, I'll put myself at an eight. But I think you're you're right, Chris. We actually know a lot. We yeah, we actually know a surprising amount. I think both this year there's a lot more coming out, but also next year. Like we know of at least uh, potentially next year. We know of at least three games coming for sure next year, barring delays. Plus two more potentially at least being Metro Prime and Breath of the Wild too. Um, you know, and then the, not even speak of the rumored games like the Donkey Kong game, for instance. I think any yeah, I, I think any big announcements will be on the smaller scale of things here potentially barring like a teaser or two of games coming up next year, which I think is possible, as I suggested with my Kirby prediction, which I really hope is true. I really want to see a 3D Kirby. Yeah, I uh, hope but so. As a, but as always, you know, we never know what's going to happen. Um, even though we had a lot of predictions between the five of us, obviously we're not, pre we're, none of us are expecting all five of our predictions to happen. So I just want to make that clear. A lot of people, I've seen threads like, Game Explain predicting this and this and this. I think, like, well, one person from Game Explain predicted that. <laughs> you know, not not the entire website or YouTube channel. Uh, but yeah, you know what? It's just nice to have another Nintendo Direct coming on the way super soon. And I can't wait. So, 
All right. And with that, that is our predictions, everyone. So thanks for watching. Let us know what you are predicting in the comments below and what you think of our own predictions as well. We'd love to hear them. And uh, with that, we'll catch you later, of course, for the Nintendo Direct itself, including tons of coverage, uh, live coverage, the analysis videos as well, secrets videos, all kinds of things, I'm sure, discussions. It's going to be a busy time. So, so thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later. Bye, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.